guys thank you for stopping by and thank you for um, subscribing to my channel if you are a subscriber and if you are new here I hope you like this channel and I hope you subscribe One of the things that I think many of us do, we hold on to our past. Our past is the past. There's nothing you can do with the past. You can learn from it for sure, learn from the experience, but there's nothing you can do with your past. Holding on to your past only delays you, delays your future. It, 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 it blinds you from seeing what is ahead of you. To give your past so much power is a very very sad thing and I always just am saddened. There are some people who live their whole life holding on to grudges, holding on to people that have hurt them. Guys, you, this is giving people too much power. I think it was Nelson Mandela who said, um, hating is like drinking poison and expecting your enemies to die. In other words, it's stupid. It, it, it's just wasted energy. Looking at it, learning from it, and moving forward. Number two, guys, is recognizing that sometimes we are the problem recognizing that sometimes I am the problem and many of us instead of doing that taking responsibility and accountability for where we are or for just the chaos that is in our life it, it's easier to shift or to transfer the blame onto somebody else but I have realized that this is very dangerous because what it does is that, is that it never allows you to step back and look at yourself. And what I have done is that I have um, looked my, at myself in the mirror and I have looked at myself deeply and I have learned to accept responsibility and take accountability for my life. And this has transformed me in so many ways because it's a hard thing to do. It's a very, very hard thing to do. Uh, it takes a level of maturity. It takes growth to really look at yourself and accept that, hey, I have a part to play here. It's going to hurt you because the truth hurts and you might cry and you might cry for days and you might be angry and you might get upset at yourself. but. Awareness is key, knowing that you are responsible and you have to accept responsibility and take action for where you are, for who you are, that you have to look at it and take some responsibility. And what that does, we take action and we shift power from others to us and when you have power, when you are in control, you can start over and you can take the necessary action to change your life. And you can learn from it and you can... And guys, we are heading to number one, which is a big thing and I know there's some point in your life where you have done this and I'm going to tell you today you should stop it. Stop comparing yourself to other people. You are a unique individual. We each have our different characteristics, our different personalities, our different traits, different talents, different skills, different circumstances different situation we were all handed a unique set of cards and we are going to play those cards differently because of our situation 
you should never ever compare yourself to other people you are doing a good job at the end of the day if you can look back and say you know what I did my best that's all you need do not compare yourself to other people I don't remember who said this but someone said that learning or being yourself in a world that forces us to be someone else is one of the best accomplishments be yourself boldly be yourself bravely be yourself don't ever subject yourself to trying to be anyone else you are unique can you imagine a world that is full of the same we need variety variety is the spice of life be yourself and be bold about it be loud about it don't let anyone try to change you guys this is it for the video today i hope you like it i hope you share and i hope you subscribe and i look forward to seeing you in my next video thank you so much for watching